The book grew out of my own personal experiences. I went through a, a long period of chronic stress and I myself came down with uh, arthritis. I went with neighbors to uh, the Greek island of Crete and that was the turning point in my healing. We know now not only that stress can make you sick, but how stress can make you sick. And also the opposite, how relaxing, how finding a place of peace can help you heal. And that's really what the book is about. It's about taking that science that proves these connections and putting it into the space around us. I knew of a groundbreaking study by environmental psychologist Roger Ulrich who had published a paper in the journal Science in 1984 showing that patients who were recovering from gallbladder surgery whose beds were beside windows with views of trees, views of nature, healed on the average a day faster and needed less pain medication than patients in the same room who had a view of a brick wall. And that study really impressed me and it certainly impressed the scientific community and suggested there is something about what you see or what you hear or what you smell or what is it about those views that could help speed healing. So this is one of my healing places. I come here when I'm stressed and when I need a place to just sit and meditate and reflect. It's the Bishop's Garden of the National Cathedral. It's lots of green. In the summer there's beautiful roses and the smell and, and you can sit and look at the beautiful view of downtown Washington. And for me it's a place where I come to heal. Feeling better because you believe in something in medical terms is called the placebo effect. And unfortunately that carries with it a lot of baggage. You say, oh, you know, it's just the placebo effect. Well, the placebo effect is a very powerful effect. It probably contributes to about 30% or more uh, of any cure. And what it is, is it's the brain's own healing processes. And it's pretty clear that place can trigger the brain's own healing processes. Healthcare design architects have really embraced this. And ultimately, the, the practical application, for example, for healthcare, is to design hospitals or healing places that will help people to heal rather than be stressful and, and harm us. Because if something as simple as a window and the view outside of it can help a patient heal. Think how much better patients would be in hospitals if we on purpose incorporated all the elements of design that can help us heal. In the course of doing the research for this book, I visited a lot of healing places. The labyrinth at Chartres, Boulder, Colorado, and the scientists who work out of there. Um, Marburg, Germany with its castle on the hill that is so reminiscent of Disneyland's castles. And in fact, I described the Disney theme parks. There are many healing places around the world. It's only up to us to find our own healing place. And it can be as small as your favorite chair in the living room in front of the fireplace, or it can be as large as um, a view from a mountaintop. There is a turning point in every illness where you go from the dark side to the light. And, and how do we get there? How do we get to that turning point? And can the place around you help you get there? And ultimately the answer is yes.